Sing Your Heart Out is probably going to be one of those songs that I've not seen this, but I've heard it live when I when I was lucky enough to see them live earlier this year. So, first off, let me just see. Is there anything in the description to have a look at? Okay, not so much this time. Give them a like. Right. Sing your heart out. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. I'm doing the sing thing. I don't need to. This is new to me, guys. By the way, it's stupid how beautiful they all are. I was thinking that with Naz of a was like, new. Oh, yes, already. Iris guitar sounds awesome. Shredding. Laveras, I love this song. Already. <laughs> Already prepared, I wanna say that. So lovely, man. That's so nice. Have I heard this song even live? Oh, this is more like it. Iris guitar sounds so damn good, man. RM with the killer look. Iris! Oh, that's such a beautiful smile. I love this sound of the guitar, man. I'll, like, it's so nostalgic to me. Yeah, I thought so, Larry. It's just, I don't know. I don't know, it's just the fact that I've not seen this Zenvi this breakdown. Oh my god. Paradiddles with the onion. I remember this. I remember this bit. I remember this bit live. Why do I feel like the rest of the song? I'm on. I'm on you for the first time. Yes. Oh, 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 oh yes. I'm getting flashbacks though. Live up. What? What, this, what a strange experience this is for me. Another 
double base pad with Young Gun. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Yeah, we'll be checking that out in a moment, guys, because that's the, like, if there's an official live, obviously I want to check it out at Rolling Quartz with that song. I'm happy to check it out. But before we get there, time to rank. Holy shit. Um, I'll get to you in a moment, List. Uh, oh my god, that was a weird experience for me. Until we got to the, like, sort of the fan chant and everything like that, uh, it's top three, like, various is saying I don't care anymore. Um, when we got to the fan chant and everything like that, like, again, that anthemic sort of chant, that's when I realised, of course, like, oh, God, of course I've heard this song before. Because uh, I remember that vividly. Uh, seeing them alive, I remember that vividly. Um, but the rest of the song, I was, it was just weird. It was surreal. It was like, I've, I, why do I feel like I've never heard this before? And it's so bloody amazing. And I was just—it was—it was a strange experience. And then to realise that obviously I have heard this song before. I will say, I've definitely only heard it live. I've only, I've only heard it live at the, at the show. Um, I, I I've never never seen that video or anything like that, or heard it audio wise either. Um, because I knew I was gonna because I knew I was gonna do this ranking series. But my God, dude, my God, right? Where do I begin? Uh, Youngian, the drums. The, the, the double bass pedal near the end in particular was mind blowing. RM on the bass, mind blowing. Hun Jung on the guitar, awesome. Ja Young, as always, amazing voice. But my god, Irie, if that ain't you stealing the show, <laughs> if that ain't you stealing the show, the, the sound of her guitar. And what she was playing for the majority of that song, that sort of, I, I always ask people what that sound is when it comes to the guitar, when it comes to that electric sort of room. I always call it like a bit of a romantic sound and everything like that with that sort of shredding and everything like that. I don't know why, it's just something romantic to me and nostalgic about it because I grew up on um, like 80s and early 90s rock and stuff uh, when I was young and everything, right? Uh, so that sort of electric guitar sound, I don't know. I find it very nostalgic, but my God, man. It's like, as far as what Irie was doing, it's like three quarters of the song was a solo <laughs> with like the rest of the song being underneath. It was incredible, man. Absolutely incredible. Um, I love the fact, again, they have that crowd element brought in near the end too, which now I remember. Um, I'm kind of kicking myself a little bit because I'm just thinking, why, why have I not listened to that since? Like, I know, I knew for a while I've known, known I'm going to be doing this ranking series, guys, and I want to keep the songs as fresh as possible, right? Why have I not checked that out? Like, why have I not listened to that hundreds of times until today? Because that song's absolutely phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. And it's crazy, because I think this is on the same release as Naz Babara, how different uh, this is to Naz Babara. Naz Babara, I think, was them um, possibly trying something, um, which, again... I I don't I'm not absolutely in love with Nazba Barra guys. Someone else list someone else listening maybe. Again, music taste is subjective, that's awesome. Nazba Barra may be your favourite Ron Quartz song. Um but it's crazy how different in style it is to this. This to me is much more the Rolling Quartz that I expect and the Rolling Quartz that I love. Uh the sound of this song and everything like that. But that's just me. Um so I'm not stalling at all. To figure out where I'm going to put this because my god that, that kind of hit me for six guys I'm not going to lie Some from top to bottom obviously I'm trying uh, I'm trying for the for the chat not to <laughs> for that various in particular for the chat not to sway me in a particular way here um, even though that's of course what makes these like live ranking special and everything like that Going from top to bottom, oh god, this this is way tough. I was not anticipating this. This is way tougher than I thought it would be. Oh my god. I'm already struggling, which should tell you something. The thing is with Azalea, oh, it's so emotional, so epic. Jai Young, Jai Young, all of them, don't get me wrong, 
in Azalea. Is it, I feel like I go on a journey, an emotional journey with Azalea. And of course, I know that it's, it's an official cover and stuff like that, but Rolling Quartz certainly made it something else, made it their own. I, but, I, but I love the song and the, the chorus and everything. I don't think I could put it above Azalea. Now, Holla. I always say with Holla, I love Holla. I think the song's great. But my god, if it doesn't have one of my favorite bridges that I've checked out in this channel in general. The bridge of that song, when the strings come in and everything like that, blows my mind. And I and I adore it. Um, and it's a great song overall, but man, that bridge. Phew, that bridge is phenomenal in Holla, man. Oh, I can't put it above Holla. Look how slow I'm going with this. Blaze is great, but I, I didn't see this coming at all, guys. I think I have my answer. I am putting Sing Your Heart Out above Blaze, which may surprise people. Blaze is a kick-ass song, by the way. Blaze is amazing, but I don't know. It's just the romantic sound of that guitar. That gave me a big headache. For it to, like, make me second-guess with two songs, these two songs, which I have listened to countless times and I'm absolutely in love with. Um, it's in your heart though as well, isn't it? Um, is saying something. Trust me, is saying something. Now various, Holler prepares you to, uh, to, it prepares you, it builds, it build, prepares you, it builds to excellence. Sing your heart though, doesn't care, it just loves. <laughs> um, oh, I'll tell you though, guys, that three is closer than I thought it was. That three is closer than I thought it was, especially Sing Your Heart Out has come out of nowhere. I, I mean, I, I, I had no expectations on where that could go. Um, yeah, and now we're gonna check out a live performance, which yes, please, I will take seconds. Um, uh, so this was in 2022. No, oh, no, I didn't read something. So, like, they must have played this before Nazbabara came out. Because it's on the Nazbabara release, but Nazbabara came out last year. So that's interesting. So anyway, guys, yeah, let's just enjoy this live performance. And if it makes me second guess my ranking, I won't be happy. Let's just say that. And this is going to show you as well how you need to see these ladies live, because they are awesome to see live. Irie stealing a damn show. It sounds perfect live because of course it does. It's so good with the crowd too, man. I read that guitar sound. Man, oh man. <laughs> Jai Young, Jai Young, I said, guys, is honestly, and this is a statement I know, one of the best female singers I've seen live in any genre. Absolutely incredible and effortless. Oh, 
drums here, the paradiddles with the onion. The guitar sound I read. Oh my god, dude. It's so much my sound. This breakdown is phenomenal. This break I forgot to say how good the bridge is. Kills Liberius, I agree. Liberius, where's Brick and Brack? By the way, I thought Brick and Brack might be here. It's Roll Quartz. The way the drums are there reminds me of like a classic, classic rock and metal band, but I can't think who. So good with the crowd. I feel guilty about how I, I, oh, how I somehow forgot the song. Yeah, I can imagine that for I believe it or not. <laughs> I can't wait till January, guys. Seeing them live again. Oh, I got chills in my neck! Double bass pedal. Chills up, up and down my neck. Yeah, Yongin in the in the last second of this song. Badass man. <laughs> Hello, you can hear a guy like, yeah, damn right. Oh, they called for an encore, so that, that, oh, whoa, wait a minute, we'll get to you in a moment. Uh, they called for an encore, that's awesome. That's awesome. Um, I think we would, yeah, we were doing the same as well. Uh, oh, man. I honestly feel guilty. 